the Human Rights Group, Jamaicans for Justice, JFJ, says it is disappointed by the government's decision to reject the UK's prison deal offer. Executive Director of JFJ, Horace Levy, says the JLP administration must tell the country why it took such a stance. Well, I think we're very disappointed in it. We had uh, argued when the proposal came that it ought to be taken, provided there were suitable conditions. So it was not a blanket approval, but it had to await the conditions. Now, for the government to reject it with, but without telling us the conditions is, is really quite unreasonable. They, they can't really expect people in this country just to take their word for it that it's to be rejected. We need to know the basis, the grounds on which they're rejecting it. Mr. Levy believes the government could have negotiated a better arrangement if the initial proposal had raised concerns. He's urging the government to move quickly and address the poor prison conditions if it is serious about fighting crime. There absolutely is a need for a new facility. The fact is that some two out of five prisoners go back in uh, to prison. In other words, they commit more crimes. If the government is serious about reducing crimes and murders, then they've got to reduce that recidivist rate, that return rate, so that the, the matter of... Uh, a decent prison is, is not, not just a matter of decency, it's a matter of essential for the, uh, keeping this country, freeing this country from the heavy weight of murders that is bearing down on it. So we, we desperately need a, a, a prison uh, that rehabilitates, that changes people, doesn't send them back out worse than they were before.